Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop, my name is Blake. Today we're gonna to look at all of the Hyperloop pod competition teams to kind of figure out which one is going, which one's not. Of course, the pod competition teams will be competing on July 21st at Hawthorne at the SpaceX pod competition headquarters. So let's get going. So Avishkar Hyperloop, they will be attending the only team from Asia this year. Uh, they are from India. They have a lot of great videos on Facebook and we're looking forward to uh, seeing them leap onto the loop as they say on their Twitter account. Next is University of Windsor. Um, they will be revealing their pod in nine days. So we look forward to that pod reveal. Um, one of only two more teams that have yet to reveal their pod we believe, but uh, looking forward. Um, Delft Hyperloop has already revealed their pod. Of course, they're doing a lot of other um, media and initiatives like a Hyperloop Connected website that gives a lot of information on why Hyperloop um, is interesting as a new mode of transportation, and I'd recommend you check that out. Next is EPF Hyperloop um, from Switzerland. They already had their pod reveal, Bella Lou, it was amazing. Um, looking forward to their uh, competition and seeing the Swiss engineering. Uh, next is UNSW uh, Hyperloop. They're a new team from Australia. Um, going to be really fascinating to see how they they uh, how well they do. Um, they have a really interesting. Uh, um, journey and they just revealed their pod uh, called Mercury um, so congratulations on that recent development and they have really good videos introducing their different team members and um, you know why they're interested in Hyperloop so take a look and a follow on their Facebook next is Washington Hyperloop we believe that they are going to reveal their pod soon um, so looking forward to that um, next is Hyperloop UPV um, they already had their pod reveal. It was really an interesting um, video that they showed. Um, just a really interesting group. They've always shown uh, really good strength uh, coming from Spain at all of these different pod competition years. So congrats and congrats on their turn pod. Next is Swiss Loop um, with their Claude Nicolier uh, pod and um, they've always done a really good job. We look forward to seeing them this year. Um, just like really amazing website too. Um, makes my website look pretty bad comparatively. Um, next is Hyper Excite. We believe they'll be at the pod competition this year. They've been at many other pod competitions. Um, so congratulations. Um, and Paradigm Hyperloop uh, will be there. In the past, they've had air bearing pods. Um, they've, I think they've scrapped the air part of their pod, but um, really interesting group and they pump out a lot of media. So good job, Paradigm. Um, oh, and also I think they're the only group that's ever had a official Hyperloop song made that mentions their team name. Paradigm. So I know what I'll be listening to on the airplane to LA. So Tomb Hyperloop, which is rebranded from VAR Hyperloop, um, of course they've won the pod competition numerous times uh, in the past and they've already revealed their pod and it is pretty amazing, uh, the production quality uh, coming out of this team, so looking forward. Um, Hyperloop at Virginia Tech, not really sure if they're going to be um, a finalist, uh, haven't really heard much. Um, MIT Hyperloop um, is partnering with a couple other Hyperloop teams um, and they will be at SpaceX. Um, again, they were one of the original teams uh, back in the early years and had a really amazing pod. So we're looking forward to pod number two. Um, next is Cala Poly Hyperloop. Um, we think that they've uh, gone through as a semi-final or finalist. Um, but we're not really sure. Uh, Badger Hyperloop, same thing. We're not really sure if they'll be um, use, having their pod in the tube uh, this year. Um, same goes for Queen's Hyperloop design from Canada. Um, looking forward to seeing them. Um, same with UMD Loop uh, from University of Maryland. And we'll be 
uh, interested to see if they've uh, uh, if they'll be re uh, representing um, at the Space Ice Pod competition as they have in the years past. One Loop Davis, which I believe is a new um, uh, team from UC Davis, um, not sure. Um, Hyperlinks from University of Colorado Denver, um, and we're not sure if they'll be uh, bringing their pod, but um, they have in the past um, represented as well as the School of Mines here in Colorado. Um, Midwest Hyperloop, a uh, coalition between Hyperloop um, of University of Cincinnati, Purdue, and Illinois. Um, not really sure, we haven't really heard much, um, but looking forward to seeing them. HyperEd, the university team from Scotland. Um, we are aware of a couple other Scottish teams like Glasgow and, um, uh, yeah, like Glasgow. Um, so we're really looking forward to seeing them um, perhaps represent uh, in future SpaceX pod competitions. And then uh, two, student, two college students journey um, for Slow Loop, and we're not really sure if they will be showing up. But looking forward to uh, the SpaceX pod competition this year. We'll be ramping up in the next couple of days with more videos of different teams and uh, stay in the loop.